Now we're going to talk about Fujitsu's uh, vein recognition technology, vein recognition technology, uh, and it combines both uh, a logical sign-on, logical single sign-on component, and a an access component. Um, so maybe we should start with the PC application and exactly how it works. Can you take us through the demonstration? Sure. So what we have here is the standard Windows login screen, and usually when this comes up, you type in your username, and typically you would type in a password, but instead of a password, we can now use a biometric logon device to get us into the main application, which is your, your laptop. The great thing about this is that we have partnerships with a lot of the major single sign-on vendors so that we interface seamlessly into their applications. The other great thing about this is the false reject rate and the false accept rates are extremely low with the Fujitsu technology. And a very key point right now, especially with all the germ concerns, is that we're contactless. So we simply hover above the device and it automatically gets you into your to access to your system. Now that's reading your vein pattern. It is reading your vein pattern and everybody's vein patterns are unique. So even identical twins have unique vein patterns. And we are not susceptible to abrasions, cuts, or other challenges that may face people that if they have rough hands or they work out in the field and that may have rubbed off uh, any parts of their, of their palm prints or fingerprints or anything like that. Because again, we're contactless and we're taking a biometric vein pattern. You have to have blood flowing through the vein. So you can't cut somebody's hand off and try to use that, it won't work. I understand you're using this. You're using this in some healthcare applications. Uh, exactly, how can it be used, for instance, uh, in a in an in a, in a in a doctor's office, in a physician's office, to uh, basically um, uh, log into your records, do a copay? Uh, what are some of the uh, What are some of the applications you're seeing already on this? So we we have partnerships with several healthcare clinics and hospitals, and what they are using the technology for is patient check-in. So instead of going to a, a person in the, the waiting room, they will simply go in and palm in to their, to their uh, appointment and they are able to check in, update any sort of sensitive information such as addresses, insurance cards, etc. And uh, they're actually even able to do some co-pays there. And in, in particular, we have you know, several installations and one of them has over half a million people already installed into it. We found that the customers are very accepting of the new technology because again, it's contactless and with everybody having concerns about different viruses and, and other healthcare challenges going around, uh, it's been very, very successful. And, uh, now, it actually also goes to uh, a more physical access uh, application. And Absolutely. So what we have here is a, uh, think of this as a, uh, a entry into a doorway and we have the device embedded in a, a sort of uh, control panel here and this is, has the dome and we've chosen a keypad. It can be also used in conjunction with a smart card or, or whatever. And we can check in, you know, open a door a couple different ways. The first is just a true, you know, put a palm up to the, the system and it lets me in. It shows you the green light when everything is, is positive and uh, goes in. If you needed a two-factor sort of authentication, we can enter in a, key, a keypad here. One, two, three, four, for simplicity's sake. The dome goes a different shade of blue, and I go in, and it lets me in. So uh, we've actually used this technology in, in some of our internal buildings. For, uh, for a little bit of time here, and it's, again, been very widely successful. People don't need to remember their badges to get into different doors, and it maintains a secure access while, you know, really deploying a, a brand new, earth-shattering type of technology.